Hello, my name is Sarah Egan, and I'm the Collections Associate here at the Sewell Belmont House and Museum in Washington, D.C. Welcome to today's Women's History video clip. This gavel was used at the opening meeting of the National Women's Party, and I'd like to tell you more about it. In 1913, while working with NASA, the National American Women's Suffrage Association, Alice Paul and Lucy Burns started a separate organization, a more activist, militant suffrage organization based on their experiences in England and focused on a federal suffrage amendment. The National Women's Party was what this organization became. Its earlier version was the Congressional Union for Women's Suffrage, which focused on pressing Congress to pass a federal amendment for women's suffrage and the Women's Party, which sought support from enfranchised women, primarily in the West, to elect representatives in support of the federal suffrage amendment. On August 11, 1916, in the ballroom of the Antlers Hotel in Colorado Springs, Colorado, the two organizations came together to become the National Women's Party. Chaired by Ann Martin, this meeting, and using this gavel, created the leading women's organization focused solely on the passage of a federal suffrage amendment and went on to achieve many more rights for women. The gavel was signed by Ann Martin as well as other founding leaders of the NWP, including Doris Stevens, Mabel Vernon, Anita Pollitzer, and many more. Today, the gavel is an important historical object in the National Women's Party collection and will be on display in our permanent exhibit. Thank you for your interest in the Sewell Belmont House and Museum. For more information on the gavel and other items in our collection, please visit our website at www.sewellbelmont.org.